friends welcome back to again C programming MCQ playlist so let's start to the first MCQ see the first MCQ and try to solve first these are the options let's see what is the output of this question see 0 1 2 here a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 and c is there in the if condition is there a logical and with b is equal to 5 in the bracket okay so in the if it will sold first left to right okay so a here 0 so in the previous videos i already told about logical and how act if here one first operator is zero then compiler don't go forward so this condition never execute okay so b never become phi here if in bracket zero so this will false condition so it will execute else part so c become two a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 because this is not executed and c is equal to 2 okay if if i here put uh, a is equal to 1 so let's see what is the output 1 5 1 how a is equal to 1 so 1 logical and with b is equal to 5 so now here b become 5 so what happened here 1 and 5 so both are 1 so if become 1 so if condition become true then c is equal to 1 so a is equal to 1 b is equal to 5 and 1 okay this is the output so output 0 1 2 for this question okay moving to the next question try to solve this question first these are the options going to solve this question in the online GDB compiler so let's see what is the output see here no output is there why because in that for loop there is a condition is 0 condition become 0 so never execute this printf because this printf part of this for loop okay so make sure that in for loop syntax is there first part is a initialization second part is always condition and third part is like increment and decrement okay for loop if you don't put anything in that initialize part condition part and increment decrement part then also it will run there is no error okay see this will print infinity time okay if here i put one First, I need to stop that execution. If I put here 1, then condition become true. Then this for loop always become true. So, it will print infinity time. Right? Yeah. Okay. Then I need to stop. If, if in that for loop, I remove this one semicolon, then it will generate error. Because in for loop syntax, there are uh, three parties there. No output for this question. Moving to the next question. Friends, try to solve this MCQs. These all are options. Let's see. What is the output of this MCQ? You can see this is the infinity time this dot printing. See? why this is happening see here unsigned integer s is there 5 here while loop is there while loop means infinity loop there should be one condition is there for stopping this while loop okay in that condition s greater than equal to 0 okay so here we can see s is equal to 5 okay so 5 
greater than equal to zero condition is true okay so first print dot then again s minus minus decrement is there so four greater than equal to zero condition again true condition again become true then again print dot then three greater than equal to zero condition again become true again print zero again one decrement two greater than equal to zero again condition become true then again one decrement one greater than equal to zero again it's true then zero greater than equal to zero see here okay so this become again true zero equal to zero then condition again true then again print dot now important part here after zero there should be decrement okay so unsigned integer is there this is the very important point here data type unsigned integer range should be zero to four g zero to four g okay so after zero minus minus this will become 4g there is one cycle is there zero to 4g after zero decrement it should go 4g so here zero minus minus then 4g greater than equal to zero so this condition always become true because this s never become negative okay so this while loop never stop so that's why this dot print infinity time see okay if you want to stop this while loop then you need to give here only s greater than 0 okay understood what i said see if here i remove this equal to part then it will print five time dots how five time dots see s five greater than zero five greater than zero it will print once dot okay then again decrement to four greater than zero again print one dot then again decrement three greater than zero again one dot print then two greater than zero again one dot print one greater than zero again one dot print okay there is a one two three four five five time dots here print if next again zero greater than zero so this become false zero greater than zero condition become false so it will go out of this while loop and here program is our ending okay so this is the way while loop working so I hope you understood. So output is an infinite loop for this question. Thank you so much friends for watching this video and I hope this type of MCQs are very helpful to you understand C code in depth. And if you have any doubt then please guys feel free to ask me in comment section. So bye bye see you in the next video with new C MCQs.